So my daily driver laptop for a number of years was this Lenovo X250. I think I had it for three or four years, somewhere around there. And it's a slower i5. Well, it was faster then and it's slower now because, well, computers are faster now. So uh, I was finally in need of something a little bit faster and I got this 480. And, but one of the reasons I went Lenovo is this question comes up is, you know, how, what made you go Lenovo, Tom? Don't you hate freedom if you like Lenovo? Because it's a Chinese company that uh, at one time had an incident with some spyware that was being put on by an American company. You're not wrong. Uh, that happened, and I run Linux on it, so I don't worry about that as much. First thing I do in these is wipe them. All right, now that we've addressed that, this is what the X250 looks like after a number of years of use. You can't even see the ThinkPad anymore. It's just worn off. But man, Lenovo... Back in the day, I called this IBM uh, when it was IBM before it was Lenovo. They always had been known for great keyboards, and that hasn't changed. So this keyboard, everything worked wonderful for all the years, which led me to buying this L480. And I've already started wearing on this one. You can see where I do this with the touchpad a lot. This is my daily driver. This is the uh, laptop I use all the time is this L480 now but it died. And that's one of the things I want to talk about. So this is a follow-up after 45 days of use on it, roughly 45 days. Uh, I bought it ago and it did die about 30 something days in and it's fixed already. This is something I want to bring up because service matters. And Lenovo is known for having good service. Now my X250 never had a problem uh, in all the years I had it. And it's uh, maybe been bumped or dropped a couple times. I'm not gonna lie, it's it's been roughed up because I take it out on the field all the time. And I've taken this one out in the field a few times. And uh, it just, it was actually here when it just wouldn't turn on before a video. I just decided it wouldn't want to boot and the motherboard was dead as a doornail. Check the warranty on it, even though we bought it from Amazon, who I've heard people tell me if you buy it from Amazon, you don't get warranty. This was a new laptop on Amazon, not a used one, uh, not refurbished or anything. So that would probably affect the warranty. But punched in the serial number and away we go. Go, go Lenovo. It has a three-year next day on-site warranty. And so I went to the Lenovo site, hit the little chat button, uh, put the serial number to them. They're like, yep, that sounds like a bad motherboard after I typed in description. Took only 11 minutes to find, to get a hold of someone. And they showed up the next day and replaced the motherboard right here at the office. They didn't have to go take it anywhere or no one, you know, no big deal. So that is the problem I had with it, but they fixed it right away. And the tech did say this is rare. And I got to admit for myself, because we see a lot of businesses that we've sold Lenovo laptops to, and they have been very trouble free. And I still have confidence in the product. And the fact that I got three years warranty means if it did happen again, I got three more years of incidents before that's a problem. And after three or four years, it's probably time to retire it anyways. But my overall, besides that minor not having it for a day incident, is it's great. Now I do run Linux on this. I'm running Pop OS 1910 on there. It, no issues at all. Now I mentioned when I loaded 1904, the touchpad did have a problem. The touchpad problem was you had to activate it essentially and change the command line switch to make it work. Out of the box, fresh install of 1910 does not require you to do that for the touchpad. So this is a now out of the box working laptop. And the price is really good. Now the L series is the budget minded, if you will, series, but the extra features I get, like I'm not gonna use the fingerprint reader. I'm not gonna, uh, uh, use a lit keyboard. I mean, I, the lit keyboard is kind of nice. My X250 had it and people say you can swap this for a light up keyboard, but I kind of don't care. I've been a touch typist for over uh, 30. I think I learned how to touch type back in typewriter class. Yes, I'm old enough to have had a typewriter class in high school. Would have been in 1992. That's when I learned touch typing and where to put your fingers. So I don't really think about uh, the keyboard layout and the keyboard layout is not dramatically different than my X250 had. So here's the keyboard on the X250. There's the key layout and you can swap function and control in the BIOS. That is still a feature on the 480 where we swapped function and control, but the keyboard layout's identical. So there was no new learning for me to do to uh, know where my hands are, even in complete darkness of the laptop. So if I'm in the dark, I can still type. Last thing I'll comment in, you'll see a few people commenting that the screen is not as bright. Now this is a nice IPS display. It's crisp, it's clear. I had no problems with the screen. The X250 is definitely a brighter screen, but this one I do leave at max brightness and I'm fine. This one would go brighter, 
but I never had it set to full brightness because it always felt too bright. So in terms of uh, ambient, watching it in, well, even in studio lights, I can use this laptop perfectly fine. I will admit outdoors, it might be a little bit harder to see, but I'm not really using my laptop much outside where, and it's not really a problem. It's still a nice IPS display and it's not glossy. So uh, even trying to catch, you'll catch a little bit of reflections because the studio lights will reflect on it at something. Let me find one of the studio lights. It takes a lot of light to get a reflection on it. So it's like, yeah, it's not. Matter of fact, I want to say that the touchpad has now become glossier for me using it. And so the space bar from uh, sliding my fingers on it. So uh, it's, it's a great finish on it. So my overall, I still really like the laptop and I don't want to hide anything about it. The fact that it did die is uh, unnerving when any time a piece of hardware dies. But we've seen this with every major manufacturer uh, where out of the box, you have it a very short period of time and it dies. We've seen hard drives die, brand new RAID arrays that were less than a month old. You know, you swap them in there and you're like, wow, one of the drives just decided it doesn't want to work anymore. That does happen. What it really comes down to is does the company stand behind their product and support it? And a three year next day on site warranty, them showing up and swapping the motherboard out, that's awesome. Uh, that definitely made me happy about it. So I want to throw that out there. Uh, so those are my thoughts on this laptop. I'll just keep using it. And I know some people are upset by this because I put stickers on it. I'm going to another event and this is going to travel with me, which will accumulate more stickers on it, which will probably bother more people. Um, but I don't know. That's how I brand and sticker my laptops. As for my X250, uh, this is now uh, kind of a backup if I needed it, but it's also our shop uh, laptop that we're now retiring one of the old shop laptops and it's the one the other techs are going to take on site and wander around with. I'll leave a link to the hardware review and the taking a part of this uh, but other than the fact that the motherboard died I haven't had any other issues. I know it sounds like a really big issue and it kind of is but they replaced it so I don't feel as bad about it. Thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.